This is the Music History Today podcast for August 22nd. On today's show, a lot of artists begin recording, including Elvis, Derek and the Dominoes, Madonna, and the Beatles. First up, though, on this date in 1906, the first internal horn record player was introduced by the Victor Talking Machine Company. It sold for over $4,000 in today's money. In 1938, Count Basie recorded the song Jumpin' at the Woodside. In 1956, Elvis Presley began his movie career when he started filming Love Me Tender. In 1964, Martha and the Vandellas recorded the song Dancing in the Streets. In 1968, the Beatles began recording the song back in the USSR. Also on that same day, John Lennon was sued for divorce by his then-wife, Cynthia Lennon, because of his adultery with Yoko Ono. In 1969, the Beatles had their last photo shoot as a band together. In 1970, Elton John signed with Uni Records, and on that same day, Derek and the Dominoes started recording the album Layla and Other Assorted Love Songs. In 1985, Rick Nelson started filming his last TV special. The special was with Fats Domino called Rockin' with Rick and Fats. In 1992, Madonna started filming her controversial erotica video, which seems rather tame by today's standards. In 2002, Jimmy Buffett opened the first of his restaurant chain, Cheeseburger in Paradise. In 2008, the TV musical The Cheetah Girls, One World, was released on the Disney Channel. In 2011, Lindsay Lohan sued Pitbull, Neo, and Afrojack because they said the lyric, I got it locked up like Lindsay Lohan, in their song, Give Me Everything Tonight. Lindsay lost the lawsuit, by the way. In 2012, LL Cool J confronted and subdued a robber in his home during a home invasion. And by confronted and subdued, I mean that LL beat the crap out of the robber. Apparently, the robber had never heard the lyrics to LL's hit Mama Said Knock You Out. He took that literally. In theater, in 1945, the review by Noel Coward, Sigh No More, opened in London, England. And in award ceremonies that were held on August 22nd, in 2021, the French government announced that entertainer extraordinaire Miss Josephine Baker's body would be interned at Paris's famed Pantheon. She was the first black woman and one of the few American-born citizens to be given that honor. Albums that were released on August 22nd include in 1975 when Manfred Mann's Earth Band released Nightingales and Bombers and Herbie Hancock released Manchild. In 1977, Dennis Wilson released Pacific Ocean Blue. In 1983, Depeche Mode released Construction Time Again. In 1988, Let's Active released Every Dog Has His Day. In 1989, L.A. Guns released Cocked and Loaded, and Jefferson Airplane released their self-titled album. In 1994, Portishead released Dummy, a classic album. In 1995, Marvin Gaye released Anthology, The Gathering released Mandalion, King Crimson released Be Boom, official bootleg live in Argentina, and Styx released Styx's Greatest Hits. In 2000, The Sparks released Balls and Buju Banton released Unchained Spirit. In 2006, Deadsy released Phantasmagore, Government Mule released High and Mighty, Aldo Nova released The Best of Aldo Nova, and the Marshall Tucker Band released Live on Long Island for 1880. And in 2011, Judas Priest released Single Cuts. Singles that were released in the UK on August 22nd include in 1980 when the Pointer Sisters released He's So Shy, in 1988 Phil Collins released Groovy Kind of Love, and in 1992 Kiss released God Gave Rock and Roll to You. Meanwhile, in America, in 1967, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell released Your Precious Love. In 1983, Genesis released Mama. In 1989, Janet Jackson released Miss You Much. In 1991, the Thompson Twins released Come Inside. In 2001, Michael Jackson released You Rock My World. In 2005, the Rolling Stones did a twofer. They released Streets of Love and Rough Justice. In 2012, Aerosmith did a twofer. 
They released Lover A Lot and What Could Have Been Love. And in 2017, Pink released Bad At Love. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 22nd include singer Dua Lipa, blues great John Lee Hooker, classical composer Claude Debussy, entertainer James Corden, Somin Jean of K-A-R-D, Jeff Stinko of Simple Plan, Howie Durow of the Backstreet Boys, Paul Duche of Matchbox 20, Lane Staley of Alice in Chains, the Jizza of the Wu Tang Clan, singer Tori Amos, James DeBarge of the group DeBarge, rapper Akbar V, session drummer John Hill, singer Roberta Battaglia, Debbie Peterson of the Bangles, Roland Orzabal of Tears for Fears, Vernon Reed of Living Color, country music singer Holly Dunn, saxophonist Alan Wilkinson, Ian Mitchell of the Bay City Rollers, country music star Sam Neely, David Marks of the Beach Boys, Donna Gachow of the Grateful Dead, Ron Dante of the Archies, Kathy Lennon of the Lennon Sisters, Gary Mother Witham of Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. Singer Dale Hawkins, Go-Go Sound pioneer Chuck Brown, Bob Flanagan of the Four Freshmen, singer Carl Mann, guitarist Debbie Davies, country music singer Colin Ray, country music singer Ricky Lynn Gregg, guitarist and producer Gary Lee Connor of the Screaming Trees, country music singer Mila Mason, singer and guitarist Graham Wilkinson of the Close Lobsters, Guitarist Steve Craddock of Ocean Color Scene, reggae artist Beanie Man, singer Fred Milano of the Belmonts, saxophonist Rolf Bilberg, and band leader Jack Payne. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 22nd include composer Luca Marenzio, who passed away in 1599 at the age of 46. Organist John White passed away in 1831 at the age of 52. Composer Friedrich Kummer passed away in 1879 at the age of 82. The Duke of Saxony, Coburg Gotha, from 1844 to 1893, also a composer, Ernst II, passed away in 1893 at the age of 75. Composer Gunnar Venenberg passed away in 1901 at the age of 83. Composer Henry Eichem passed away in 1942 at the age of 72. Pianist Apollinary Zaluto passed away in 1966 at the age of 82. Composer Richard Frank Donovan passed away in 1970 at the age of 78. Pianist Gina Buckauer passed away in 1976 at the age of 63. Blues guitarist John Lee Granderson passed away in 1979 at the age of 71. Composer Charles Wittenberg passed away in 1984 at the age of 57. Blues guitarist Boogie Bill Webb passed away in 1990 at the age of 66. Violinist Paul Winter of the NBC Orchestra from 1937 to 1958 passed away in 1992 at the age of 78. Composer Mario Ishikita passed away in 1996 at the age of 79. Country music singer Floyd Tillman passed away in 2003 at the age of 88. Singer Imperio Argentina passed away in 2003 at the age of 92. The Elvis Presley concert announcer who first said, Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building. Mr. Al DeVoren passed away in a car accident in 2004 at the age of 81. Composer Luke Ferrari passed away in 2005 at the age of 76. Drummer Bruce Gary of The Knack passed away from non-Hodgkin lymphoma in 2006 at the age of 55. 
Songwriter Jerry Lieber passed away in 2011 at the age of 78. Nick Ashford of Ashford and Simpson passed away from cancer in 2011 at the age of 70. Singer and actress Kiko Fuji passed away in 2013 at the age of 62. Jazz musician Toots Thielemans passed away in 2016 at the age of 94. Pianist Alois Kantarski passed away in 2017 at the age of 86. Jazz guitarist John Abercrombie of the group Dreams passed away in 2017 at the age of 72. Ed King of Strawberry Alarm Clock and also of Leonard Skinner passed away from cancer in 2018 at the age of 68. Composer Peter Holm passed away in 2020 at the age of 93. Saxophonist Brian Travers of UB40 passed away from cancer in 2021 at the age of 62. Entertainer Mickey Grant passed away in 2021 at the age of 92. Record producer Creed Taylor passed away in 2022 at the age of 93. Trumpet player Jaime Branch passed away in 2022 at the age of 39. And drummer Jerry Allison of Buddy Holly and the Crickets passed away in 2022 at the age of 82. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 23rd when in 2019, Taylor Swift released her album, Lover. Lover. 